Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to be talking about romance books where the heroes are really sweet. So if you didn't know, I'm a huge sucker for heroes that are really sweet. Possessive alpha heroes are fun too, but I'm more so love the sweeter, kinder, gentler heroes. I just, oh, I swoon over them. Also, one of my viewers commented on one of my videos saying that they would love more recommendations with sweeter heroes that is like um, one of the heroes from her Sweet Alpha by Thayer King because um, this book the hero is super sweet in this one and just swoons over the woman would do anything for her and this is a wolf shifter romance by the way I think it was in my shifter romance recommendation video if I'm not mistaken I think so and so they were like I want more heroes like this can you recommend me books with heroes like this and I was like you know what that'd be a great video so these are romance books where the hero is really really sweet and would do anything for their woman first i have zaf from take a hint danny brown zaf is so spoony in here i love him so this is about danny and zaf uh they work at the same university she's a professor and he is one of the security guards in the building that she teaches in he like remembers to always bring her breakfast and a drink because he knows that she always forgets to eat and so he's like she needs to eat so i need to give her something um so they're super close friends not close friends but like they're friendly enough to call each other friends when they're at work you know um and then one day there's a fire drill going on in the building and Danny's in the elevator when it happens and so Zaf goes and rescues her from the elevator because it gets stuck and he carries her out of the building kind of like what the illustration looks like on the cover and they like a bunch of students end up filming them and post it on Twitter and they become like kind of like a viral sensation and with all the popularity that they're getting Zaf's um, nonprofit organization with his popularity he's um, online he's gaining some traction a little bit with his nonprofit and so he like comes to Danny and is like hey how about we fake date to further this on so that I can get a little bit more traction with my nonprofit and she's more than eager to say yes and to help out Zaf and so this is a fake dating romance and through them fake dating with one another they start to admit their feelings for one another because they've always thought that the other person was very attractive this gets hot this gets fun Zaf is just a total sweetie he has anxiety as well and so the anxiety representation here is just done so incredibly well okay next I have one of my favorites we have King Sized by Jessica Kane this is a very hot short novella that I just adore um so this is about Bretta and before this book even starts uh her parents end up passing away she's 18 and so she becomes a queen at age 18 because her parents died um and so the beginning of this book you know that she's crying in her chamber Rex is one of the bodyguards that are stationed outside of her bedroom and he is hearing Britta cry in her room and is like is no one gonna go console this woman who's obviously really upset and needs a like a shoulder to cry on and so no one, none of the other men will go do it and so he's like you know what I'll go do it and so he goes in and um he comforts her and she still she starts to like notice him because uh, she didn't notice him before and they start up a relationship with one another he is so incredibly sweet and just treasures Britta like he wasn't always a bodyguard he used to be a blacksmith but then the one day he saw her in a parade with like her family and he was like you know what she looks like she's gonna be an amazing queen I want to dedicate my life to saving her to like protecting her and so that's how he becomes a part of the royal guard he is just so incredibly sweet and kind to Britta and will do anything for her so if you want to read a novella with a really sweet hero this one is definitely the one to read next i have love in the wild by emma castle this is a tarzan retelling and i just think tarzan is so sweet for like how he was raised and everything he's still so kind and incredibly sweet oh my gosh um so our tarzan hero in here his name is thorn and so yeah his parents um plane ended up crashing in a very tropical jungle um his parents ended up dying and when he was young he was raised by a gorilla and this says years later he's now a man our heroine eden gets introduced and she i think works for national geographic and she's with a tour group and she's the photographer so she's taking some pictures and then they get raided by some evil guys and thorn rescues her and she's the only survivor from this raid he's like oh i saved her she's beautiful she's mine i'm keeping her she is my mate now <laughs> and he doesn't really understand english because he grew up with gorillas and he's just so incredibly sweet and kind to her and is really understanding and just like is really gentle he's a gentle hero and oh 
it is so cute i love him i think feel like any tarzan retelling you're gonna have a sweet gentle hero when it comes to the jane character in here um because they will just do anything for her next i have spoiler alert by olivia dade this is about marcus and april and so marcus is actually an actor and he plays a very big role on this TV show that is very similar to Game of Thrones. However, he doesn't really like how his character or the show in general is going because I think it's based off of a book series if I'm not mistaken and so he, do they don't re he doesn't really like how the um, production team has gone with the show. And so for years he's been writing fan fiction under like undercover like no one knows it's him writing fan fiction on this very popular fan fiction site and for years he's been really close friends with this other online creator for fan fiction and he has secretly been crushing on her for a while and little does he know that she has been crushing on him too her real name is april they don't know who they actually are in real life so april she decides to post a cosplay picture of herself online um of one of the characters from the tv show and she gets some backlash for it because she is a plus size woman and some people believe that whenever an actor looks like something all the other people who represent that actor should look the exact same and so marcus sees this picture and is like i think she looks beautiful i'm gonna ask her out on a date and so he does very publicly ask her out on a date not knowing that that's his online friend and so they go on a date and he realizes that that is his friend like that's online while they're on the date she doesn't know though um and so it's kind of like him coming to realize whether or not he should tell her who he really is he has dyslexia as well and so he like talks about that a lot and how he struggled with that and he's just so incredibly kind and understanding to april marcus as a hero like i love him he is so sweet i didn't like how he kept this secret because <laughs> you read about how he keeps this secret for a little bit but i just think he's so sweet and so caring and truly loves april next i have bottle rocket by eric mcclellan um mcclellan mcclellan i'm not sure to pr how to pronounce that um but this is a second chance romance our hero and heroine they were high school sweethearts but then they broke up once they went off into the world after after high school so rosie and leo those are their names and so they come across one another again because leo is back in town the town that they went to high school in uh, rosie's never left and they decide to get back together for the short time that leo is back in town um and leo is so sweet he's a artist and he his art style is um of nude bodies that's like all that he draws and paints and they are so beautiful like what that he describes is so beautiful he's just a big sweetie a big softy and his book just gets really hot and i love a good hero that can be like really really sweet he's really sweet and kind but then he's also really hot you know like like in the bedroom huh you know <laughs> next i have jock row by sarah nye so this is about scarlet and rowdy rowdy is his nickname he's a baseball player um and this is a college romance and so scarlet ends up going with two of her friends to jock row which is kind of like just a street of houses where the jocks live the athletes live so they go to the baseball house who has a party i think like every friday night and she's kind of like blocking these baseball guys who are like hitting on her friends because they're making up lies about baseball and she like their baseball team and like which games they won and what's their batting average and blah 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 and scarlet just keeps like shooting them down and be like uh you're lying i know like so much about baseball you're making this up to get in their pants and so they do not like how she is outing them they ask rowdy to go kick her out basically and so being the teammate and friend that he is he has to go do that and so he brings her outside and sits on the porch until she leaves and she's like i'm not leaving without my friends i don't want them to get in trouble and he's like okay well i guess we're sitting on this porch all night together then because i'm not allowed to let you come back inside and so they sit on the porch all night together talking and they just talk about the funniest things they get vulnerable with one another like they talk about so many different things and he's just so incredibly sweet and kind and then she realizes how amazing he is and then she like makes up excuses to go to hit to this athlete house every friday just to sit on the porch and talk to him he is so swoony and he just fully loves her and he doesn't push her or encourage her they literally all they do for weeks is sit on a porch in a house to talk and uh i love that oh this is so cute <laughs> speaking of sweet heroes we have one of the sweetest of all time we have jonah from full tilt by emma scott jonah is just oh he is so cute he is so sweet um this is about casey and jonah casey is a guitarist a part of this woman band rock band um and she's kind of like in a rut 
in the dumps. Um, she is basically an alcoholic and Jonah is their limo driver for the night on their tour that they're on. And one of the bodyguards for Casey ends up putting her in the limo at the end of the night um, cause she kind of like caused a ruckus out in the green room. Um, and so Jonah decides to go take her home. But once he gets to her house, he realizes she doesn't have any keys on her and she's blackout in his car like she's dead out and so he's like well i'm not gonna leave this woman on the porch no one will answer the phone by the way no one can let them in no one's home and so he's like i'm not gonna leave this woman on the porch i'm going to just go take her home to my house and she can sleep on my couch and so he does that and then she wakes up and things start from there jonah is dealing with a chronic heart condition and he is a beautiful artist he creates this glass blown art like kind of like what you see on the cover just casey starts to get to know jonah and realizes how amazingly kind and sweet this man is and she kind of changes her life around for the better jonah is like oh, he's my kind of hero he is so sweet and kind and understanding and it's just like there for casey every step of the way another sweet hero i think he's sweet i don't know if everyone else would think he's sweet but it's ed from transcendence by shay savage this is a caveman romance time traveling romance so ed is a caveman beth or he says beh <laughs> um is a woman who time travels from our time into wherever he is i don't know what the time is ed comes across beth in the woods and she's wearing strange clothes and he doesn't know where she's from but right when he sees her he's like "Ooh, i found my mate i'm gonna take care of her and love her for the rest of my life <laughs> and he's not able to communicate with her he like his brain isn't developed to a point where he can understand language it's all in the perspective of ed though like first person of ed um so we don't really know what happened with the heroine well you kind of do if you read the um, second book which is like this book in her perspective ed will just protect her all day long and provides for her and learns how to love what learns what love is and fully loves her this one is just so sweet it's one of my favorite romances ever like i swoon over him and his romance with beth all the time every time i see this cover i want to reread it i wish i could reread it right now it just oh it's so good next i have easy by tamara weber this is another college romance now the hero is sweet in here but this isn't a sweet romance this one is very heavy a little emotional there's a big trigger warning in here for sexual assault our heroine in here she almost gets sexually assaulted at the night of a party like right outside her car and the hero of this book ends up saving her and ever since that whole encounter she's been wondering where she can find this guy again to thank him um, and she finds out that he's in one of her college classes and he basically helps her realize how to, to how to defend herself and how to stand up for herself in that situation and he's just so like understanding and is very slow with her so yeah i really love this one if you want a college romance that's a little bit more serious i would definitely recommend this one and last i have zenny by rebecca weatherspoon this is the romance between zenny and mason and zenny's aunt left her with a big fortune after she died but she can't get the fortune unless she marries a certain somebody um named mason who lives in the same town as her aunt um, and they were kind of close friends, not him and Zenny, Zenny's aunt and Mason, they were just really close friends. And so they both get like parts of her will, but they only get it if they get married to one another. So they get married out of convenience. Um, and the two of them start to get to know one another and start to fall in love with each other. And oh my gosh, this book is hot. It is fun. Mason is a huge, like cinnamon, cinnamon roll sweet hero who just loves Zenny. I think both of them are bi also, so there's that representation too. He's just really, really sweet. I think he plays the bagpipes in one scene in here, which was just so cute. So yeah, I love Mason and just his romance with Zenny is just super sweet and fun and cute. So there you have it. Those are some romance books with sweet heroes in them. I have so many more. If you want a part two to this video, please let me know down below. Also, let me know if you have read any of these books or if you plan to. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye, y'all.